Hi and welcome back to my channel. My name is Jennifer and I do all things embroidery. In this video I will be doing the ribbon candy which looks like this. See that long strip and then at the bottom? Yeah. So we're going to do ribbon candy and we're going to assemble. We're finally assembling this wreath. I'm so excited. So stay tuned and keep watching. Let's do this. We are starting with the very first ribbon candy and we're going to use two strands of red thread and we're doing a simple outline stitch. Make sure not to go too close to the edge because the felt will fray. So I go a little bit on the inside and I'm going to show you a few stitches to begin the outline stitch so you have an idea of what it looks like. And then I'll show you the candy. There's two candies, so I'll show you the other candy when it's completed, but I'll show you how to put it together. Okay, so we're going to do this for the bottom and the top. So now that we have the outline stitch done, we're doing the green trim. And it, it is a little bit long on both sides. But I'm, gonna, I'm not going to cut it yet because um, when you stitch the felt, they do it does um, like constrict a little bit, so there is wiggle room. But we are going to applique this piece on. I just decided to start in the middle, and um, once I get to the edge, then I will gauge whether or not I need to trim it or not. Um, I think I only ended up trimming one side, if I remember correctly. But here is the applique stitch using one strand of green thread that matches the felt. It's like a dark green color. Once you have that piece appliqued, then you need to fold it kind of like an accordion. And I did my best to fold it as many times as I could. On the picture that comes with the kit, it has about four folds. I could only manage three folds, but it still looks really cute. Grabbed a couple of pins to make sure that the folds stayed where I wanted them to. And I'm just um, gonna grab one strand of white and go through kind of the middle. And I'm trying to really hard to stay on in the white so you don't see the stitch. And the stitch, this is technically a tack down stitch so that the fold stays. And I'm going to do one giant tack down on each side. So I'm going to pull it all the way through. And I'm going to go, I'm going to go as close as I can and go all the way back next to the knot. And then I'm going to tighten it just enough to where I feel like it's secure. And then I'll do the same thing for the other side. There are many different ways you can do this. I just figured this is the easiest and simplest way for me to keep my folds the way I want them to. You can do several tack down stitches, you can do them on the side, you can do them in the front, however you feel. This is how I did mine. And I'm going to double knot it in the back to make sure it's nice and secure. And I used, I used two strands of white instead of one just to keep it stronger. I, sometimes I feel like the one strand is not quite enough for all these layers of felt. Okay, now that I have my double knot, I'm just gonna quickly hide my tail. And then I'll trim it, and then I'll go on the other side and do the exact same thing. Okay, I'll do that off camera. So here is the first ribbon candy completed. And you can't tell where my tack down stitches are, which is good. And I did the second one off camera because it's the exact same method, just different colors. So you're using a green and a red stripe. Okay, so now the wreath part. The kit calls for cardboard, but I am using poster board, mainly because it's what I have off, you know, in my room and you're going to cut out a piece that is a little bit smaller than the actual felt just so that you can applique the felt pieces together and I actually I went ahead and trimmed it down so that there is space for me to 
applique the middle first. So I'm actually gonna pin and applique the middle of it together. And I did that off camera because it's very hard to film doing the inside of the wreath. I will show you the outside. So uh, you can see all my pins. And I'm gonna do section by section. And with each section, I'm gonna take a stuffing and stuff it as I go. And since the middle part's already applied, it won't be too difficult to keep the stuffing in there. Okay, so here's a small section that I started. And I'm using one strand of the dark green thread. And make sure that you pin it all the way around because it does wrinkle, it tends to wrinkle. So you, the more pins you have, the better, smoother wreath you'll have. I kind of stopped right about there, put as much, I, I'm not overstuffing, I'm putting as little stuffing as I can because the candies are gonna go on top and it's gonna give it a nice three-dimensional effect. Here's the very top of the wreath and you can see I went ahead and it's all the way stuffed, all the way around, nice and even. And I kept the pin right there to make sure I knew where the top of the wreath was because we're gonna put cording in. Now, if you don't know how to make cording, I have a separate video for that. I'll link it up here in the cards. I'll also put it in the description box below if you don't know how to do cording. It's a very quick and simple tutorial, hopefully easy for, to follow. And I grabbed one strand of the matching thread and I'm just gonna knot the ends together. Now the great thing about this is it doesn't have to be perfect because we're not even gonna see the knots. The knot is actually gonna be hidden inside the wreath. So I just did a couple of double knots and then um, I'm gonna place this behind the cardboard on the back. All right, um, I attempted to, <laughs> to do this on camera and it was fairly difficult because the wreath is so large um, so I wasn't able to completely attach it, so you can't really see it. But I do, um, do I'm going to do it off camera, and then I'm going to show you what it looks like once it's attached. So I do do a couple of double knots to secure it. Here is a close-up. Okay, that's what it looks like. It's about half an inch in. You can do it farther in if you want. Um, for the cording, I did about six inches or so of cording. And okay, so here's the picture that it comes with. And I did my best to place every single piece onto the wreath. And I used a pin to pin down every single one of these so that I know where I'm placing them. If you don't do this, you may, the, the results may vary. <laughs> so. That's, this is how I did it. So I have every single one of these pinned, okay? And depending on the base color, I used white for the candies that had white on the back. And I used red for those that had red. I used um, like a brown for the cookies. And I used gold for the lollipop sticks. So whichever color the backing is to kind of match it, I used. And you can, t you can see I'm having it's very difficult to film applicating these pieces on here because I'm trying to maneuver this giant wreath and my workspace is rather small and my camera can only go so high. So um, I decided to show you the smallest candy piece, one of the smaller candy pieces, and I'm only going through one, one layer of felt underneath. So I'm going through the leaf and the candy. I'm not going any farther than that um, to keep it lighter and that way the the leaves are still kind of free so if you run your finger over it, it's the leaf isn't stuck to the wreath. So if you're appliquing um, when, when you're appliquing these um, candies and cookies make sure that you're only going through two layers of felt the the top layer and one bottom layer don't go through the back because the card, first of all, the cardboard's there, so you won't be able to go through it anyway. And um, it'll just, it won't create a nice 3D effect. It won't look, it, it'll look kind of um, like you glued it on or something. It won't look like it's just, you know, just hanging there. So 
I am double knotting. And let me tell you, um, using one strand is recommended. If you feel like you need to use two strands, do it because that's just extra security. Um, the kit doesn't require that. And depending on how much thread you have left in your kit, you can do one or two. Um, the only reason I suggest uh, maybe doing two is because sometimes the thread breaks and it does, it, it does break sometimes. Okay, so we have every single piece sewn on and I double and triple checked every single piece. I actually had to redo a couple of candies because the stitching wasn't good enough or one even fell off. Like, I don't know what happened. I think maybe the double knot just wasn't there. Who knows? But I, I'm literally checking every single piece making sure it's nice and secure and it's not too wiggly. If you find that you have trouble with a couple of pieces, don't, don't hesitate to re-sew it because you wanna make sure every single one of these candies is on there securely. And that's the finished wreath. It looks so cute. Here's the back view, nice and clean. Give this video a thumbs up if you like this video. I have more awesome tutorials coming along. If you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you know when new videos are coming. I have many more awesome videos planned for all of you. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.